Hello everyone. I am Mrs. Sunita Dole. The topic covered here is Electributed Definition. In previous video, we covered the bottom of evaluation of S attributed definition. In this video, we are going to cover the L attributed definition whose attribute can always be evaluated in def first order. Learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to know about L attributed definition and draw the pass tree with the semantic action attached to it. When the translation takes place during the passing, the order of evaluation of attribute is linked to the order in which the nodes of a pass tree are created by the passing method. The order for many top down or the bottom up approach is the one obtained by applying the def first order to the root of the pass tree. Following algorithm is for the def first evaluation order for attributes in a pass tree. So now consider a class of syntax directed definition that is L attributed definition which can always be evaluated by the def first visit of the pass tree. The L is for the left as the attribute information flows from left to right. L attributed definition. A syntax directed definition is L attributed if each inherited attribute of xj where 1 is less than equals to j and j is less than equals to n on the right side of A derives x1, x2 up to xn depends only on the attribute of the symbol x1, x2 up to xj minus 1 to the left of xj in the production and the inherited attribute of A. Every S attributed definition is L attributed because the restriction applies only on the inherited attribute and not on the synthesized attribute. Example, consider the first production A derives LM. The semantic rule associated with the production R L dot I is equal to L of A dot I, M dot I is equal to M of L dot S and A dot S equals to F of M dot S which satisfy all the properties of L attributed definition. But the syntax directed definition is not L attributed because for the production A derives QR, the inherited attribute Q dot I of the grammar symbol Q depends on the attribute R dot S of the grammar symbol to its right. When Q dot I must be evaluated before we enter to Q because it is an inherited attribute. But the value of q dot i depend on r dot s which will be available after we return from s. So we are not able to evaluate the value of q dot i before we enter to q. Translation scheme. In syntax directed definition, we do not say anything about the evaluation time of the semantic rule. A translation scheme is a context free grammar which in which attribute are associated with the grammar symbol and the semantic action enclosed between brushes are inserted within the right side of the production. In this example, semantic actions are enclosed between the brushes. When designing a translation scheme, some restrictions should be observed to ensure that an attribute value is available when the semantic action refer to that attribute. Now these at, uh, restriction ensures that a semantic action does not refer to the attribute that has not yet computed. In translation scheme, we use the semantic action terminology instead of semantic rule terminology which is used in the syntax directed definition. The position of the semantic action on the right side indicate that semantic action will be evaluated. If a syntax directed definition is as attributed, then we construct the translation scheme by creating an action consisting of assignment for each semantic rule and inserting the semantic action into the end of the right side of the associated production. So for the production, E derives E1 plus T 
the associated semantic rule is e dot val is equal to event dot val plus t dot val so this is a production of the syntax directed definition now the production and the semantic rule that is e derives event plus t in parenthesis e dot val equals to event dot val plus t dot val now this represent the corresponding translation scheme example a simple translation scheme that convert infix expression to the corresponding postfix expression e derives dr r derives plus t semantic action print plus r1 r derives epsilon and t derives id with the semantic action print id dot name for the infix expression a plus b plus c corresponding postfix expression is ab plus c plus so the def first traverser of the past tree executing the semantic action in that order will produce the postfix representation ab plus c plus of the infix expression a plus b plus c if the translation scheme has to contain both synthesize and the inherited attribute we have to observe the following rules and inherited attribute of a symbol on the right side of the production must be computed in action before that symbol a semantic action must not refer to the synthesize attribute of a symbol to the right side of that semantic action a synthesize attribute for a non terminal on the left can only be computed after all the attribute it references have been computed so we normally put this semantic action at the end of the right side of the production with l attributed syntax directed definition it is always possible to construct a corresponding translation scheme which satisfy these three conditions this may not be possible for general syntax directed translation example the following translation scheme for the production s derives a1 a2 with the semantic action a1 dot in equals to 1 comma a2 dot in equals to 2 and for production a derives small a with the semantic action print a dot in does not satisfy the first of these requirement we find that the inherited attribute a dot in in the second production is not defined when an attempt is made to print its value during a def first traversal of pass tree for the input string a8 that is the def first traversal start at s and visit the subtree for a1 and a2 before the values of a1 dot in and a2 dot in are set if the action defines the values of a1 dot in and a2 dot in is embedded before a is on the right side of s derives a1 a2 so instead of after a dot in will be defined each time a print a dot in occurs so s derives a1 dot in equals to 1 then the a1 then semantic action a2 dot in equals to 2 a2 and then a derives a with the semantic action print a dot in so till now we consider the l attributed definition now pause this video and reflect on this question for a minute or 2 minute and write your response once you have written the answer to this question then you can restart playing this video the question is draw the pass tree for the input 9 plus 5 plus 2 with the semantic action attach to it i hope all of you have completed this activity the question was draw the pass tree for the input 9 plus 5 plus 2 with the semantic action attach to it the def first traversal of the pass tree executing the semantic action in that order as shown on the slide will produce the postfix representation 95 plus 2 plus of the infix expression 9 plus 5 plus 2 this is the reference used for preparing this presentation
ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ